Hey mamas, my name is Heather Butler and I have been a bump day blogger before for pals. Um, I've also been a monthly contributor and I am going to be bump day blogging again but through video which I think is so fun. It's going to be um, this new experience and fun element I think so I'm really excited to um, include you on this pregnancy journey of pregnancy after loss with each of you. I love pals. Love, love pals. I love our community. I love our sisterhood that we have together. And I'm really excited to kind of share the ups and downs and challenges and beauty of um, pregnancy after loss. So I have um, three kiddos, five, three, and one. And we just found out that we are pregnant with number four. And we're really excited. Um, but also, you know... <laughs> the anxiety and fear and um, all of the emotions that come with every pregnancy after loss. So you will be um, walking alongside me through it all and I am honored and excited to have you um, join the details and like I said just the ups and downs um, of this journey. Eventually you will hear laughing and screaming and crying because <laughs> I have three kids. So you are going to be joining my real life with me and I'm honored for you to do so um, but it may get a little loud but this is authentic mess right here <laughs> I just dropped the kids off at my friend's house and um, I'm at my doctor's appointment. Um, I'm a lot more nervous than I thought I was going to be but my husband's gonna meet me here in a little bit and hopefully I'll be able to take a deep breath then just being with him and seeing him and the office was super gracious they're gonna give me an ultrasound um, this first visit instead of um, having this initial visit and having to schedule an ultrasound in the next week or two so I'm super thankful for that um, yeah I'll give you updates when I'm out So today we are nine weeks and five days and the insomnia is in full swing. <laughs> I'm so tired today. I'm just so exhausted. I asked my husband, was I this tired with our other pregnancies? And he said, yes, but you also are chasing three babies now. So <laughs> I had a weird day yesterday of anxiety for really no reason, but pregnancy after any loss I think um, even when you're feeling good your mind just you know wanders sometimes so it was a hard morning yesterday um, I kept thinking oh my gosh I cannot wait three more weeks for another ultrasound should I call the OB and see if they can squeeze me in but um, like for me in every pregnancy and every loss my faith has um, not just played a big role it's been like the only factor that has kept me whole and going and renewing myself so um, yesterday I just kind of was reciting some scripture that I love and um, directing my focus that way instead of um, worrying so I'm such a homebody it's hard for me to like get out every day but um, that's been good just kind of getting out and running errands or play dates and all that stuff just to kind of get my mind off of um, just the minute to minute stuff that's unnecessary, so. So I had a um, pretty interesting <laughs> time the other day. I wanted to mention it. So I finally, <laughs> um, three or four nights ago just had a total breakdown with my husband just crying for some reason have been overly anxious um, worrying about the baby the slightest bit of change in like my nausea or if I start to get a little bit of energy I'm like oh my gosh <laughs> like is my morning sickness going away or that night I felt calmer just because I talked out loud. We talked everything over and he was super comforting. And then the next morning I called my OB 
and they're kind of tricky to get a hold of so I always have to leave a message either with um, one of the nurses or the front desk very rarely do I get straight through um, a friend of mine had invited me to like a group play date that I've never been to before and I knew a couple of the moms going but um, there was like five or six other moms that I, I have never even met before that morning I'd had a panic attack for the first time in probably five years um, I used to struggle really bad with anxiety and panic attacks um, growing up and through college and then once I, uh, after we lost our first baby, the panic attacks kind of came back and the anxiety. Um, so it was the first panic attack that I've had in a long time. And it wasn't severe, but it was enough where I needed to lay down and focus on my breathing and remind myself <laughs> nothing was actually wrong, just kind of ride the wave. Um, so I'd had a panic attack that morning. And I thought, well, I'll just still just make myself go to this play date because I just love um, the mom is that I do know and it'll be good a good distraction and instead of sitting home and just waiting for a call back to see if I could come in just to hear the heartbeat I was talking with my friend and I interrupted her because the the OB was calling it's like oh sorry I have to answer that so I ran upstairs and um, scheduled um, an appointment to hear the heartbeat on Doppler um, at one o'clock the play date ended at noon and so I came back down and I felt so rude and I was just apologizing because I totally interrupted her and like ran upstairs so I just um, kind of leaned into her and said hey I've just been really dealing with anxiety lately um, and that was the OB I'm trying to just get in today just to hear the heartbeat just for peace of mind and I lost it completely lost it and I was so embarrassed um, so I kind of stayed in the corner of the room trying to compose myself. <laughs> She's a newer friend and I tell you what, my heart is just like wrapped around her. Um, she asked if I would feel comfortable if, um, she and the group of ladies we were with, um, uh, prayed for me and the baby. And of course I was like so touched as my friend just asked the other women if they would like to pray for me. Um, she asked if I wanted to share any details <laughs> and I did but I knew I wouldn't get through it and in a room full of strangers I knew a couple of the moms room full of strangers I just began sobbing like it wasn't the cute crying it was definitely the ugly cry that you get two words out and then you have to take a few breaths another couple words take a few breaths and I was completely mortified because I'm like, hi, I'm Heather. I'm going to cry now and tell you the um, deepest parts of my soul, just bare myself <laughs> to you. And I was so embarrassed. Um, I felt so uncomfortable and I felt bad if I made them uncomfortable. But everybody was so incredibly gracious and these women just circled me and prayed for me and baby and um, it was just like each of them were carrying a little bit of my burden with me and I could just breathe I, I was just breathing easier and it just reminded me how important having a community having a community of moms especially is as a woman as a mom when we're in the thick of pregnancy and pregnancy after loss and all the complexities and the depth to that, how important it is to allow yourself to um, cry in front of others sometimes. Um, I feel like sometimes I walk gracefully into a vulnerable conversation or scenario and kind of share um, my heart with others and then sometimes like at this play date like I completely tripped and fell into vulnerability like I landed flat on my face and these moms were so incredibly precious and gracious and empathetic and we had amazing conversations after I was such a neat time to see how faithful God walks with us and how he even it, in the same week of all my anxiety and worry um, redeemed that and, and brought beauty out of it and community and love
Okay, so we're in our office. Gonna listen to the baby's heartbeat. Are you guys excited? <laughs> Is it freezing outside? Is it freezing? Look at you, cool girl. A three-year-old that dresses herself. How cool is she? Nigel, was it cold outside? So our office has um, lollipops, and they save the day every time. No, My good listeners. Suckers. suckers, yeah. Suckers, and I think lollipops are the same. So we are going to hear baby's heartbeat. Are you excited to hear baby's heartbeat? Yay! We love that baby heartbeat. Are you excited, Ray? Or are you just digging that sucker? So we're going to... um. Easy Doppler check just for, <clears throat> sorry, um, peace of mind. So the nurse last week when we were here scheduled one for this week to, um, to hold us off until our 12 week skin next week. So I'm really excited. So we're settled back in the car and it is seven degrees outside. Is it cold guys? Yeah. Holy moly. We don't know how time is it. We don't know what? How time is it. Oh, it's what time seven is it? weeks. Seven. <laughs> Do we hear a healthy heartbeat? Yeah. Healthy baby heartbeat. Yay! Thank you, Jesus. And, and then next week we get a picture, don't we? Of the baby. Yeah, and then we can buy um, a toy. And then we can buy a toy. That sounds logical to me.